Hello, welcome to my world. I'm Sarah Ang. Sarah leads a team of female embalmers. They start off their morning with a team meeting. The body at one o'clock. So we have to get it done before like maybe 11. She embalmed very right? many years ago. Then you, two years? Yeah. yeah. Right, I think like six months. After I come back from New Zealand, I've been teaching her. <clears throat> she's my first, then she's second. That time when she's pregnant, so I was embalming alone. Then after I start to train Justin as well. And then um, that's how we actually build, start to build a female team. Actually, it wasn't our intention. But however, uh, I start to see like there's a lot of female uh, embalmers. That, that female actually very interested to be an embalmer. Used, I, I, I would say five years ago, you hardly actually see any female around. Now, maybe start to be like more, more. increase maybe 30%. That's also one of the reasons why I went to New Zealand to learn. Because when I was funeral directing, right, I mean, I handle family with their grandmother, mother. They would rather have a female that is handling the embalming instead of like um, male handling. So, that is also one of the reasons I actually tell myself I want to learn so that I can serve back. So normally we will actually um, wear our PPE first before we actually enter the embalming room so that we can actually kind of like protect ourselves and keep ourselves safe for any like you know fluid. For Sarah, the embalming room is a common site for her daily work. So these are some of the instruments that we use for embalming. So they have uh, forceps, scissors, yeah, needle. Sometimes we have to do some a uh, suture. So we will have need needles and all then the threads. Okay, so we will actually fill up the embalming uh, machine with water, and later on we will actually mix with a uh, chemical uh, after we see the body lah. So we also, based on the body condition, then we decide whether how much chemical we add on with the water. Hygiene is one of the most important aspects of a job. Sarah takes great care in sanitizing her workspace. So this is a cannula that we actually uh, prepare. So we will actually put into the artery. Then after that, we will start to do injection. Maybe I can show you all like, how the chemical is going to flow out. Apart from preserving the body with chemicals, Sarah cleans and sets the facial features of the deceased to present a dignified and peaceful image to their family and friends. We still use the same makeup. It's just that uh, for male people, I actually put a very minimal makeup on them. Most of the makeup that we do is try to be like as natural. Okay, my dad passed away. Then after that, uh, my mom actually took over the business, um, and it's quite tough for her. So I'm like driving her around to wakes, to you know, like so that she won't be so tired because she ever like uh, will drive and fall asleep. So that's how I actually started to help her in uh, uh, working together. Then after which, I actually, after a few years, I actually met this uh, Australian embalmer who actually worked for my mom's company. He actually inspired me a lot. Then it's like about three years later, then I, I would tell myself that no, I, I'm going to just pursue this um, embalming course. Then I just fly over to New Zealand. Because Singapore don't have a, a school to actually teach embalming, so if really they are really very interested, they have to actually join a company who actually say that you know they want to commit in teaching them lah. But a lot of time, I think they don't understand the real job scope of our line. Like 
firstly, maybe they have the passion and out of curiosity, they join. And then they have to be very committed with the job because it's 24 hours 7 job. Like we, we can't choose like say, oh, sorry, I, I am in watching a movie. I can't come out. You know, sometimes you have to do sacrifices. So a lot of time, I think especially young younger generation may not understand the real job scope and then um, when they come inside, then they will realize that, oh, there's something uh, too much for me and they maybe prefer like work-life balance, then that will be a problem to them as well. The body is now ready to be transported to the location of the wake. The team settles the deceased into the coffin and hands it over to the hearse driver for the final send-off. Although her work schedule can be unpredictable, Sarah tries to take a break in between cases. I'm seven months pregnant now, uh, but I'm still running. I'm more of like a running a funeral directing job now, uh, less of a embalming job. Um, it can be quite tiring, but I mean, I'm used to it and I'm a bit, a bit workaholic. I can't stay at home for long. So I rather, you know, like work every day. Then um, even my previous pregnancy, like I work until the last day before I go, go for, for delivery and all. In such a tight-knitted industry, it is no surprise that Sarah and her husband are in the same line of work. We met at a crematorium. He approached me and then started talking to me. Back then, there's only a few like young people in the industry. So that's how we met. We understand our situation and our commitment is the job. So like for example, midnight, he have to go for a job. I mean, I'm quite understanding. The only downside is like because of uh, Maybe we have some different views, but it's good that like, we have different views and we just manage to come up with something, a, a better solution. Yeah. So that's how we actually run. Uh, we're always open to ideas so that we don't have too much conflicts. Besides running her own company, Sarah continues to help out at her family's funeral parlor. This is the place where she grew up and made many treasured memories. Even after being a mother of three, she continues to create fond memories with her children here. Yeah, this is actually one of their favorite places to be in. Uh, other than those indoor playgrounds, then this will be the next one. Like normally after I finish an uh, embalming case, then after I'll shower, then I'll start to take care of them. So I think this is a very cozy place whereby we will just sit around and then we will have our meal here, lunch here. And then they even have their afternoon nap here. So sometimes I also nap with them. <laughs> Before they even nap, I already also fall asleep. What's mommy job? <laughs> you know how? Huh? Put the hand. He said my job is to actually just put, uh, help people to put the hand like that. <laughs> you don't understand my job actually. I don't understand. Yeah, because we hardly talk about my job with them. Uh, so the cute part is they actually say, oh, mommy's job is actually just to put the hand together. Tell people to put the hand together. I have time whereby I was doing a funeral, funeral directing a funeral, and then um, the school called and said that he got a high fever. So it's like my husband is also in at the funeral, so it's a, it's a bit hard for us to, you know, quickly uh, just leave the, the 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 place and go and fetch him home and all. So this is the, the downside lah. But it, it's good that sometimes we have family support. So we will actually like get my mom or 
uh, El, Elson's uh, auntie or whoever that is available to help us to actually bring them home or something like that. You want to do like what daddy do? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> then what, what do you want to do if you are not, you don't want to be like daddy, then what you want to be? I want to be like a fireman. Fireman! Sarah tries her best to be there for her children, but still needs to be on standby around the clock. This is the armor shop. This is the shop that is the armor. So this is armor house. This is all me. I'm then someone take a lot of picture of me. So when I was like, eh? Hey. Then I was so happy. I was like, hey. I was like happy. And then I now I look up. Then I see I look up again. Then I like, oh. And this is the I very love. I love so loud. The embalming profession is often overlooked and yet demanding. It takes a group of committed and skilled individuals to take on this role. This is my world, how about yours? Bye-bye!